What's, first off, what's your channel name? What's your name? Channel name is A Day and then just Beast. Okay. But and the then fitness situation is mind body fitness. For sure. And then uh that's my that's my Instagram, mind body fitness. M I N D underscore B O D Y underscore F I T N three S S. I'm gonna have a link in the description too. For sure, for sure. And then uh how long you been doing calisthenics for? With no trial and error, I would say about two years. With trial and error, about maybe three and a half. And what I say trial and error is, I know exactly what I want. I wasn't locked in on my nutrition. That's a big part of it. I kept switching up whether I wanted to be bigger, smaller, ripped, what kind of physique. Now I've got to where I want to be at. I mean, we're never done with ourselves, but no sure. trial and error, two years. And then what what caused you, what, what brought you into the calisthenics game? What what got you what got you motivated into starting doing calisthenics? Um, honestly, I know this might seem like everybody's answer, but I really saw Hannibal first doing it. For sure. Um, but I was lifting weights at the time, and I didn't like the whole going back and forth from breaking to not breaking and taking a break to not taking a break. And you can do calisthenics anywhere, so I'm like, man, I'm rocking it. And what what do you think you get from it? On, from a physical standpoint, because it, your, your name of your Instagram is Mind Body Fitness, so right. it means it's more than just a physical. Right, right. So I call it Mind Body Fitness because it's really a mental thing. Like you know, you can just go out there and just pump out reps, but it's like you're not really connected to your workout. So you use your mind to control your body to reach the level of fitness that you're trying to get to. So what really? Wait, repeat that part of that question again. What's what's the mental aspect of the of the mind body? What's the mental aspect of the mind body fitness? Part of your name and just part of your why you got into calisthenics or why you why you feel like working out is important in general. Um, the mental aspect part of it, I feel like it really helps with just like everything in life. Like man, I, I go through days where I'm like sitting here helping the family out or whatnot, and stuff is just easier to be mobile with I mean, regardless of what you're doing whether it's up a flight of steps whether you randomly lifting large packages or whatnot you see the ease and all of it and to me it's just a good stress relief like i worked out this morning came here from the east all the way to berkeley to come rock with you yeah it's just a mental aspect i love it you know what i'm saying and the therapy for it is just like you know we out here putting in work sure and uh what advice would you give anybody who's getting into the calisthenics game if you just starting off with the, you know what I mean? Say somebody who don't even know how to do a pull up or anything like that. Where, where, what's your advice in terms of, I know, we, like you said, you have seen Hannibal doing doing his thing on YouTube or whatever, however you may have seen him. So obviously when you get into it, you're looking at that as a finished product and you're like, okay, that's what I want to do. But you just starting off, you can't do a muscle up. You can barely do a pull up. What's the mental, Cause you know what I mean. It's it's natural for us to want to do more than we can actually right, do right, right. starting off. So how do you go about it? What's the what's the routine? How do you how do you build a routine? How do you how do you build a routine and how do you figure out the steps to get there without rushing it? Clear. So the best advice I would give is to there's nothing wrong with looking at people and being inspired, but don't sure. aim to be that. Be yeah. comfortable with who you are first and be comfortable with your level of progress. And the best advice I would give people is research. What do you want to do? How do you want to look? Do you want the bigger look? Do you want the more small, lean and condensed look? Do your research, because the research is out there. And hone in on the basics. And when you're doing horizontals and when you're doing pulls and pushes, make sure you get your horizontal push, which is dips. I mean, your horizontal push, which is push-ups. Your vertical push, which is dips. Your vertical pulls, which is pull-ups, and your horizontal pulls is rows. I yeah. don't see a lot of people doing inverted rows. And don't skip legs. The testosterone you get from yeah, building your legs is going to help your upper body. But stick to the basics. Squats, lunges, calf raises, push-ups, dips, pull-ups, bodyweight rows. Stick to those. And don't feel like you need to always go to failure or pass failure or feel DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle failure syndrome. You don't always have to go to failure to grow. Just put work in and don't leave reps on the table. And another thing is something that you had asked me when you when I first got here is, what what do you feel? Like, what do I feel like I specialize in? Right. And then for you, what would you feel like you specialize in? Number one, and what would you be your advice for somebody? Just like you said, how you was right. talking about Hannibal. Everybody has a strength and weaknesses, right. and I think a lot of it just has to do with our genetics. Right, right, some right. of us might be better at pushing, and some of us might be better at pulling, or whatever it may be, right. isometric holes or whatever. Right, definitely, definitely, so, definitely. what would be your advice for people in terms of like trying to hone in on specific skills that they like to get good at? Right. Because 
me personally, I feel like if you don't practice something on a regular basis, you're going to lose it. Right. It's just like for a while I was doing human flags and then I, it started making my shoulder hurt. So I stopped right. doing them. Right, right, and right. then now me trying to go out there, I could barely hold it for like three seconds. You yeah. know what I mean? No, that make perfect so sense. What, would, what would be your advice in terms of like trying to hone in on specific skills? And what do you think your best skills are? I will say the best thing I'm good at is the basics of pushing and pulling. Um, and definitely leg work like I really go in on mm -hmm. legs and the best advice I would say is to especially if you're trying to do like beyond the basics is to just keep doing it even if you stuck at like three reps go on them three reps keep doing the three reps honestly I was first when I first started doing pull-ups I was at three reps for both grips underhand and overhand yeah. and I just kept doing them and doing them and doing them and as I did it they just increased and increased and increased and the best advice, and one more thing I would give after that is be prepared to be uncomfortable. It's going to sure. hurt. It's going to physically hurt, and you're going to have to have that mental pain yeah. to push through it. And, and put to that, come back and out put, here. And put that ego to the side. Right. And to come back out here. Because if you're beginning, you might not, you're not going, not even might, you're not going to recover as fast as me, the brother holding the camera, travel standards, and the brother over there. You're not going to recover like the next day. I'm, I'm doing a lot of the same stuff I did yesterday, yeah. but our body has adapted to it. You might take a few days to recover, but if it's the day to do push-ups again, you got to come back out here and do push-ups again, even if you're hurting. That's just part of the process. Fall in love with the process. Be patient. Stay on your nutrition, because that's 80% of it, and get your rest. Rest is key. Cats yeah. in jail got a crappy eating appetite. They do a lot of work, but they get a lot of rest, and they get naps. That rest is key. You don't get your rest right, you ain't gonna grow. And then another thing, one thing, this ain't even a question. This is just something that I, I watch your content a lot. Right. And something that I that I peep about your content that I like is the emphasis on quality reps. You know right. what I mean? And not paying attention to how many numbers you're gonna do. I think a lot right. of people get caught up in numbers Man, and they yeah, don't exactly get caught up into form. quality reps coming all the way down, all the way up, pushing right. all the way down, right. locking out, all of that. And that's something that I notice that you do and it shows. You know what I, I mean? Because all your all your all your form on all your exercises is clean. Appreciate that. So Appreciate that's that. something, and I, I I definitely emphasize that you guys check out his channel Appreciate if you that. wanna Appreciate look at that. somebody who's who's got quality form, quality reps, and also understands the science behind everything that he's doing. Thank you, I appreciate and that. And check out his muscle ups, his muscle ups is clean, his dips is clean, he on, the, he on the rings, he's well rounded, just like you say, you wanna, you, you doing a lot of leg exercises, right. you're not skipping leg day, and you understand the mental aspect behind everything that you're doing. It's not just about physique. That's right. one aspect of it. Yeah, that's, that's actually- gonna come, That's gonna come with it. You know, that's that, definitely gonna come with it. And the four reps, like he's saying, four range of motion is key. If you're a beginner, get them four range of motion. Them 10 half reps is better, than, them 10 half reps are not better than you getting three four range of motion. For sure. Now, after you get good with the four range of motion, if you wanna start incorporating yeah. partials for a specific reason, Go for it. Maybe you're not that good from the bottom pulling to the top or yep. the top pulling to the bottom. And you can emphasize that I in. I just seen you doing a, a, a one and one half, one and one quarter rep yeah, one, exercise yeah, one on one your quarter. Instagram. Yeah. Yep. So no, them is definitely good. The four reps stick stick to that. And then start doing partials. Maybe like if you're towards the end of your workout and you just want to get a good pump and you try to lock that blood in the muscle, go for that. But as far as beginning, stick to full range of motion. And like the brother behind the camera said, be sure to humble yourself. Quality reps. That's what's key. You get a quality reps and you end up getting a quantity of quality reps. And that's, and that's not just for fitness either. You got to humble yourself in all aspects of Man. life. When oh, it comes key. to whatever your knowledge is, your job, whatever you're doing, right, your right field of expertise, humble yourself at all times because we don't know everything. No, we and don't. we're not experts on everything and we're not the best at everything. Yeah, I'm always a student, man. I always sure. have that white belt mentality. I always yep. be a student. You know, always be humble to learn something. You go, I'm learning from the brother out here. You know, I was learning some stuff earlier, so Ex vice versa. So, um, and I, th I would say the three things that I just got from what you said is number one, humble yourself in, in terms of quality, quality over quantity. Right. Two, the nutrition and the in the science behind it. Right. And then three, just put in the work and rest. You know yeah. what I mean? That's all all aspects and then you know everything else you said it was a lot to unpack right, right. there But you know what I mean? And don't if, be afraid to take a rest day off. Not nah, man for nothing sure. wrong with a rest day Man, you got to take a rest day off. I just you know? took one off yesterday because I've been going hard But anyways, let's get back to the workout. We go. Right, we got a couple more sets left Appreciate it, bro oh, for sure.